Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 57. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 7, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're on the invoice with the sheet tab called Invoice. And we're starting Chapter 7. Now, Chapter 7 is called The Mathematics of Buying, but it's really all about an invoice. How do you do things like how do you calculate how much a retail store paid for a bunch of items they bought, or what are the terms on an invoice and uh, other ice, uh, items also. Hey, we're going to go over to the sheet list price and net cost. And in this video, we're going to see how to calculate what's called a trade discount. Now, here's the situation Gel Boomerangs, that's actually the name of the company I used to run in the 80s and 90s. We manufactured boomerangs and sold them to stores, retail stores around the world, and then they would sell boomerangs to customers. So here, Gel Boomerang sells a boomerang to Kite Flight. Kite Flight is a retail store. Kite Flight sells a boomerang to the customer. And finally, the customer buys the boomerang from Kite Flight. Now, in this video, we want to learn about list price and net cost. Now, those are the terms that this textbook uses, list price. Out in the working world, you might hear retail price. That just means the sticker. Well, when you buy the boomerang, what does it say on the tag? Oh, the tag said uh, $23.95. Net cost or wholesale cost is what Kite Flight paid for it when it bought it from Gel Boomerangs. All right? Now, net cost is what they use in this textbook. I much prefer wholesale cost. Again, that's how much Kite Flight paid gel boomerangs. Now here's an example, right? Gel boomerang sells a boomerang to the retail store Kite Flight. Kite Flight pays $11.02 for that boomerang and then they sell it to the customer for $23.95. All right. Now, let's what we want to do here is figure out how did they come up with $11.02 if the selling price was $23.95. All right? So I'm going to scroll down here. We're going to look at this from Kite Flight's point of view. So Kite Flight. Before Kite Flight bought all the boomerangs and brought them into the store, they got a catalog from Gel Boomerangs. So this is what the catalog uh, might look like. Here's a list of all the boomerangs, right? The quad boomerang that has four arms, super easy to catch. The Carlota has three arms. The Majestic Butte is your typical two-arm boomerang. All sorts of boomerangs. And so Kite Flight's looking and they say, oh, these, this is the list price. This is what we could sell it for. Now, this is a suggested list price or retail price. And then over here, it says trade discount. The trade discount is the discount Kite Flight gets off the list price when they buy it, right? And so the catalog looks like this. It doesn't show you actually the price. Now, out in the working world, catalogs all sorts of different catalogs. Sometimes they list the net cost or the wholesale price. Sometimes they list the trade discount. And sometimes they have lots of trade discounts, which we'll see next video called a series discount. But our goal here is how do we go from the list price and figure out what Kite Flight's net cost will be? All right, so we're going to scroll down here. And it's pretty straightforward. We have our list price a trade discount. So the trade discount in dollars is just, hey, list price minus your discount, right? So for this quad, there's the list price. We simply multiply this times 43. And that gives us the reduction in price for kite flight. Now here's our two formulas, list price times trade discounts. Once we figure out the trade discount in dollars, we just say list price minus the trade discount in dollars, and we get wholesale cost or net cost. All right, so we'll first do our calculation. I'm going to round it because this is to the, we're dealing with pennies, right? Oh, yeah, the list times our trade discount percentage, comma 2. And then I'm going to drag it down. And you could have um, currency or something like that. Now, here's our majestic butte, right? That was the amount we looked at. Up here, 23.95, 11.02. Oh yeah. So how this works is there's the list price. That's what we have to subtract to the from the list price to get our net cost. All right. So here I'm going to say equals the list price minus our trade.
trade discount in dollars. Relative cell references, double click and send them down. And so there's our 1102, our Majestic View. Now I want to notice we were given the trade discount percentage, and we calculated two parts. If we add these together, we get exactly that, right? Here's the amount we reduce the list price by, and here's what we pay together. Those added together equal 23.95. Now in next chapter, we'll learn a different name for this, but don't worry about that now. This is the trade discount, the amount we subtracted from this to get our price. Now those are two parts, and I just want to take a look here and look at the relationship between these. If I, I'm going to do it right on this line. If I compare this to that, I better get exactly 54%. And if I compare this to that, it would be give me the percentage of the list price that I paid. So let's just check this out. Equals, and we're doing just like chapter 3, part compared to whole, right? There's our 54%. So we've, in essence, checked our work. But what would this be? Um, this is a part. If we compare it to there, it would give us the percentage that we pay. Now up here I put net cost equivalent, uh, percentage of list price paid equals that. Whoops, I don't have that wrapped. So if I uh, wrap this, I go up here. right? So let's just check this out. Equals, oh, it's a part compared to the whole. That's the percentage that we paid of the list price. All right, uh, and you could do this for the whole column. Um, I'm going to drag this up here, and this drag this up here, right? And all of these numbers, right? That's comparing the trade discount part to the whole. 40, oh, yeah, 43%. And this is 17.24 compared to that. That's our 57. Now, you can notice something about these. If we add these together, and we could continue this down the column too, right? I did that kind of in the middle just because we were working on that one particular one. But if you added these, what would you get? You better get 100%, right? Because these are, the, there's two parts that add up to the whole. So these two percentages would give us the whole also. All right, now we want to take that idea and come over here, down here, and talk about a complement. Yes, I want to give those of you viewing this video a compliment, you guys are doing a great job. No, no, not that compliment. Compliment meaning two parts that add up to a whole. If you were, whenever, t anytime you're given the trade discount percent, you can automatically calculate the percentage of list price paid or net cost equivalent by subtracting it from one. Both of them together equal one. If you have one of them, you can calculate the other by taking 1 minus in, all right? So 50, 57%. And those always equal if I add those up 100%. That's the complement. Now, we'll be using the complement rule a lot. Sometimes it's faster just since they give it, since the catalogs give us a, a trade discount percentage, it's usually easier to do this and then multiply that times the list price to figure out how much we pay. Let's go ahead and see how to do that. So again, here's that same catalog. So Gel Boomerangs, we're at Kite Flight, right? Gel Boomerang sends us this catalog. We see the names of the boomerangs, the list price, and these. So we simply go, oh, 1 minus this. And then double click and send it down. That gives us the uh, percentage of list price paid, or net cost equivalent. They don't introduce that word till our next uh, section sec where we do series discounts, but no problem. The common sense is that's the percentage when we multiply it by this that gives us how much we pay, net cost or wholesale cost. So you ready? Now we round. Either order, these two multiplied together. Oh, and we get exactly the same answer as up here. Now, you know, when I'm doing this, sometimes I'm like, well, this is a second method. I want to I want to verify. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to do a logical formula. I'm going to say equals. Is this equal to that? That's how we did it um, with trade discount amount, 
calculating that. And here we did a slightly different way, but I just want to see if these are the same. True, I love to see that. And then I'm going to copy it down. All right, now let's go ahead and just do this all together in one formula. Again, this, you know, if this is what you get when you have your catalog or you have your little ad in the paper or whatever, how about just say this times the complement? Now we are uh, doing dollar amounts here, and we are multiplying decimals. So of course we'll use round. The list price times the complement. Now we have to put the complement in parentheses. Why? Because we want the minus to be calculated before the multiplication. And then comma 2, close parentheses. And that's the formula we'll use often in this chapter, right? We're given a trade discount, complement times the list price, and that'll give us our net cost, our wholesale cost. Come down to the end, looking good. So we can see our Majestic Butte. We charged the customer $23.95, but we paid eleven oh two. All right, now let's do uh, two more. Here's our quad boomerang. The list price is $30.25, and we get a trade discount of 43%, so equals round. All right, list times the complement. And minus that. And if we were to highlight that and evaluate it with the F9 key, you could see, yeah, sure enough, it gives me the 57. If we get a discount of 43, that means we had to pay 57. Control Z to undo that, evaluate. Comma 2, close parentheses. 1724. Now our Carlota, we have a list of 21.95 and a trade discount of 55%, so equals round. Just getting a little practice here. Hey, the list times the complement. Wow, what a, what a good looking percentage that is. Comma two. $9.88. All right, so in this video, we saw how to calculate the net cost, or I have these little uh, pop up comments here wholesale cost given a trade discount. In the next video, we'll see how to do series discounts. That's when we get even more of a discount. All right, see you next video.